So, to work out um, any sharp key, you really only need to remember two things you'll be pleased to know. The two things you have to remember are the new sharp is always note 7. The other thing you have to remember is the order of sharps is given by the monomic Father Charles goes down and enters battle. Father Charles goes down and enters battle. F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Let's go over to the whiteboard and talk you through how to apply this. Okay, so supposing you're looking at a piece of written music and you see something like this at the beginning. And you want to work out what key this piece of music is in. Well, all you have to do is count the sharps. One, two, three. And they're always in the same order uh, on the music as they are in our monomic. So you know that that is Father Charles Goes. That tells you that the last sharp is Goes. G for Goes. Now we know that the last sharp from our two rules, our last sharp is note 7. So if G is note 7, then note 8 will be A. And that will be the key note, because note 8 uh, in music is always the same as note 1, the octave. So uh, here we are, that will be the key of A major. Okay, let's try another one. This time we've got five sharps. We don't have to look too closely to see where they are, which for somebody like me with my eyesight is a good thing. We just have to count them. One, two, three, four, five. And we know that they are father, Charles goes down and. So the last sharp is and, A for and. That'll be note seven. After that comes note eight, which will be B. So we're in the key of B major. One more. So we've got Father Charles goes down and enters battle. The last sharp is B for battle. After B in the alphabet comes C. But we've got to remember that's B sharp, um, so that already sounds like C, um, so we must be in the key of C sharp major. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now we'll look at uh, how to work key signatures out when you're doing sort of theory exercises on paper. In some ways this is a bit easier. All you do, supposing you're given uh, the task of working out um, the key of E major. Simply write out the letters E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. And then start applying the monomic Father Charles goes down and enters battle. And sharpen each note accordingly, but stop when you come to note 7. Always the second to last note. So father, Charles, goes, down, stop, because that's note 7. So the key of E major has one, two, three, four sharps. It would look like this. Father, Charles, goes, down. Okay, let's try one more. Uh, key of D major. Write out the letters. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Sharpen F for father. 
Charles. Oh, we've already come to note seven. So we've only got two sharps in the key of D major. That would look like this. F for father, C for Charles. So there we go. One last thing to mention. This, uh, thus far in this lesson we've only been discussing major keys and major key signatures. But you may be wondering, what about minor keys? Well, here's another rule for you. On the sixth step of each major scale is built the relative minor key, or relative minor scale. And this relative minor has the same key signature as its relative major. So, for example, if you take C major with no sharps or flats, go up six steps, C, D, E, F, G, A. You come to A and that tells you that A minor has the same key signature as C major, i.e. no sharps, no flats. And you'll see this is mentioned in this master diagram that we're going to leave up on the screen uh, for a few minutes now. You can download a copy of this diagram from the, tool uh, from the toolbox if you click on the printout tab. So that's it for this lesson. Spend a bit of time absorbing that information. Um, grab hold of any music book you can. Just uh, try, uh, try testing yourself on working out a few sharp key signatures. And also um, work them out on paper like I did up on the whiteboard just now. Once you feel you've sort of got it, uh, move right on to the next lesson, which is all about flat key signatures using the circle of fourths. This will help complete the whole uh, subject of uh, key signatures uh, and enable you to move onwards and upwards up the uh, pyramid of music theory. All right, I'll look forward to seeing you in that lesson.